Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella, and in today's video we are continuing the early fall decorating, this time heading into my kitchen as well as our dining space. We do have an open concept first floor, so I like to make sure that I keep things cohesive with the living room and entryway and that they all play off of each other and pair well together. So I'm just going to start off by wiping everything down so we have a nice clean slate to start off with and we're going to keep things simple and functional in both of these spaces today. To the left of our sink, I'm going to be adding a couple of cutting boards as well as some of our go-to cookbooks. We absolutely love the Gordon Ramsay one. It's such a great point of reference for even the simplest of things. And then a couple of the Magnolia ones as well. And this bowl I got from Hearth and Hand in the spring and it's the perfect little fruit basket and add some warmth to the kitchen and to the basket i'm going to be adding this new tea towel from hearth and hand it is part of their fall collection i've said this before in previous videos their flower sack towels specifically these single ones are by far one of my favorite things that they bring out each season it's a great way of introducing a little bit of color in a space adding some texture and obviously they're super functional And to the right of the sink, I'm adding this round tray. This is older from Target and I spray painted it Urbane Bronze. Then we're going to be adding this antique wood jug with some faux picks from Hearth and Hand last year. And I had to add a pumpkin. This is one of the new ones, part of Threshold at Target. It's this like metal and bamboo woven detail and it's so cute. So this is the first pumpkin I'm breaking out this year. Now we're gonna add this brown pitcher I found at the antique store. This mortar and pestle was from Home Goods. I think it was only $5.99. So they have some really affordable ones. Obviously this one is on the smaller side, but these make for great shelf styling in your kitchen space as well. And these dried florals are from Hobby Lobby. They technically could work all year round, but I love using them, especially for the fall season. So I'm just gonna trim these to size and add them to the pitcher. And I'm still going to keep out this new Magnolia Table cookbook. I love the green color. She has so many great recipes. So if you haven't picked this up yet, you should definitely consider it. And I like to keep things nice and simple over here, especially because it's right next to the stove. So we're just going to put this here. So I'm just going to quickly clean off my kitchen island. I get questions every video about where these counter stools are from. They are from World Market. We've had them 
for over three years now and they still look just as good as the first day that we bought them and on my island i'm going to be adding this lazy susan as well as this smoked glass vase with some rust magnolia stems and twigs I love to incorporate apples in my early fall decorating. I found this one at an antique store, but I will have some similar options from Etsy linked in the video description. And the finishing touch in the kitchen is going to be hanging this wreath. This is older from Target, but the idea to put the bells with this brown ribbon actually came from Bonnie at the Ryan House on Instagram. She has such a beautiful decorating style. She has two homes, one in Canada and one in Washington, I believe. Um, but absolutely love her decor. She's such an inspiration. So I will link her Instagram account in the description if you're not following her already but it's such a perfect way of using the bells that we use for Christmas already in another way and pulling in the rust florals on the island over here. I just want to say a quick thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. I appreciate so much that you guys spend the time with me during your day and I hope that you guys enjoy. Now we are going to move over to the dining space. I'm just going to quickly wipe everything down so again we have a nice clean slate to start off with. I 
I recently picked up this beautiful Tabor Runner on Amazon. It was super affordable. They had a few different color options too, which was great. I just loved the moodiness of this one with the browns and everything for the fall season. So now we're gonna add this cake stand. I use it as a riser most of the time if I don't have an actual purpose for it, as well as this vase that's older from Target. So this arrangement is going to be very, very maximal. We're gonna be using four different types of stems, starting off with these green sprays from Hobby Lobby. And we'll also be adding in these twig ones. These are from Michael's. This will help tie in the island arrangement over here. We're also going to be using these lanterns. I got them from Joann's a couple years ago, but I found very similar ones at World Market this year. And also adding these blackberry ones, tying in the basket in our entryway space over here as well so everything flows nicely and is cohesive. So I'm just gonna kind of alternate how I'm putting them in so that I have a good spread all the way around. For the base greenery, just kind of pull it apart a little bit so you get some more coverage there as well. So I'm just going to continue through alternating which stem I'm putting in so that way there's a nice balance all the way around. Again, I just want to reiterate this arrangement is very very full it is not super practical if you're actually sitting down at your dining table we tend to sit at our island 95 percent of the time so we don't really sit over here unless we have people visiting in which case i just move it off of the table and do something that has a lower profile First, we're gonna add this wood charger. This is from Kirkland's. They are a little bit pricey. Definitely buy them when they are on sale so you can save. This white plate is also from Kirkland's. It's just a great everyday one and then you can add seasonal ones with it. And this one I got on clearance last year from Hearth and Hand. Definitely look for seasonal stuff out of season. That's how you can save a ton of money. I got these, I want to say 70% off, which was such a great savings. And it works all year round technically, but I really love to use it during the fall and winter to give a more moody look. These napkins were from Hearth and Hand last fall. They're a beautiful like brown stripe and the napkin ring is also from hearth and hand and these glasses i got spring shop last year at hobby lobby they unfortunately did not bring them back but i will link a similar one if i'm able to find it
So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope you enjoyed watching how you can simply style your kitchen and dining spaces for the early fall season. Again, I just want to reiterate, I am not trying to pressure anybody to decorate as early as I do. I get so stir crazy. I love fall and winter and I just want to get the ball rolling. This is what I do in general, YouTube aside. So I hope you guys enjoyed and that way too, you can get some ideas and still get your hands on stuff before you're ready to decorate. Past few years, if it's taught us anything, things are selling out so much faster than they used to. And when you are ready to decorate, you might not be able to get your hands on some stuff. So watch this video, save it for later. You don't need to start right now. Decorate when you're ready for your spaces and homes. Thank you guys as always for hanging out with me here today and I will see you in my next video.